Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Rumps and Fairhaven is brought to you by Mario Venancio of Berkshire Hathaway, Fox and Roach Realtors. North Nation made the road trip to Menon Arena for the Public B semifinals. It's Middletown North, the sixth seed, squaring off with shore rival Rumps and Fairhaven. The Lions beat RFH 6-3 in the regular season. Middletown North gets into a jam early. Rumson gets a 5-on-3 power play. Great passing by the Bulldogs. Brett Pritchard's shot is stopped by Luke Krizan, who's able to keep the puck on his pad before he smothers it. Let's zoom in and take another look. Krizan with a stellar stop, and he's able to keep that puck on the pad and out of the net. At the end of one, we're scoreless. Just 121 into the second, Ben Tarosi with the shot from the point. That's Connor Spagnola on the deflection to get Rumson on the board. Take another look at this one. Spagnola is able to time it perfectly and get just a little piece of the puck to redirect it in for the goal. Rumson Fairhaven with a 1-0 lead. Four minutes later, the Lions have an answer. Colin Delonzo with the feed to Andrew Gross, and that's a quick trigger. Gross gets his 12th goal of the year, 40th point of the season. We've got a 1-1 game with 9.46 to go in the second. RFH had double trouble working in a big way. Connor Spagnola behind the net, wheels the puck to twin brother Braden Spagnola. He finds the tight window on the near post side to give Rumson Fairhaven the lead. At the end of two, RFH has a 2-1 lead. Opening minute of the third, the Spagnolas are at it again. This puck takes a funny bounce off the boards and right onto the stick of Connor Spagnola. That's his second of the game. RFH gets a 3-1 lead and locked down on defense for the rest of the final 15. Rumson was two minutes away from its first ever trip to the state finals. Middletown North in desperation mode pulls the goalie. It's a six on five and Jace Koenig's mark gives the Lions hope. From the left circle, he scores. With 1.39 to go, Middletown North trails 3-2. The Lions would get the puck back into the zone, pull the goalie again and Koenig's mark is on the mark again. An incredible turn of events. Middletown North season appeared over, but two goals by Jace Koenig's mark in a 64 second span turns the tide. It's 3-3 and we've got sudden death overtime with a trip to the rock on the line. Rumson Fairhaven applied immense pressure throughout the overtime period. The Bulldogs thought they had the game winner. Brett Pritchard puts the puck in the net but the referee is right on top of it, and he immediately makes the no-goal call. We zoom in and show it again. RFH is merely inches from winning it, but you can see the net come off before the puck crosses the line. No goal is the call, and Pritchard is in disbelief. The Bulldogs threw the kitchen sink at Luke Krizan throughout the 15-minute overtime, and the Lions goalie stood his ground. 60 minutes of hockey cannot decide it, so we're going to a five-round shootout. Krizan is one cool customer not affected by the intense drama. Ryan Cook goes first for the Lions. He's got some sick moves and is able to go backhand to get mid-north on the board. On the other end, Krizan sets the tone for the shootout right away. This is an awesome glove save to give the Lions the advantage. Koenig's Mark and Gross both score, setting the stage for captain Colin Delonzo to win it. And the Lions' leading scorer delivers. An incredible comeback as Middletown North in the Public B State Final for the second time in school history. Four to three is your final. This game was an instant classic. From Krizan's goaltending to Koenig's Mark's late heroics, the Lions' determination earns them a date with Northern Highlands this Monday in Newark. We talked with the Lions about a comeback for the ages. Honestly, when we were down 3-1 with a minute 40 left, I was on the bench right before we took the timeout. And I was like, 
man, I, I don't want the season to end like this. I knew I had to do something special. And I went out there. As soon as I got the first one, I was like, okay, we still got time on the clock. And as soon as I circled the zone, I saw the goalie go down. As soon as he popped back up, five holes open, I took the shot. And, it, and you saw what happened from there. It was an unreal feeling. Well, it's just about staying calm in the net, you know. Uh, my goalie coach at home, he gives me advice to calm down, you know, just breathe in, hold it, breathe out, and that's what I was doing the whole period. It kept me kept me in shape, kept me in form, and it paid off. Still in a little shock right now, but it was, it's, it was a great great job by these guys, you know, coming from, from two goals down to, you know, fight back and battle back for each other to uh, get to play on Monday. Reporting from Men in Arena, I'm Jay Cook with Rich Krampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.